Hey everybody, Brooks from Drag Times here. I'm in the Tesla Model S P100D. An exciting, it's an exciting day. Um, if you've been following Elon Musk on Twitter he, and Tesla, he's been hinting at some performance increases for the P100D models. Um, this mode has been hinted as being called Ludicrous Plus. We got the software update this morning, and uh, with the help of WK057, we've been uh, had some hints on how to enable this Easter egg to increase the performance of the Model S. Now, they've been hinting that the zero to 60 time on the Model S P100D would drop from 2.5 seconds to 2.4, as well as run 10, six in the quarter mile. So we're gonna test that out. We're gonna show you, we figured it out. We figured out the code and how to get in. I'm gonna show you that right now. And then we're gonna show you what it enables on the different screens. And then we're gonna do some testing and see what the differences are. Okay, so to enable it, you have to make sure you're on the latest firmware. Press the Tesla at the top there and check the firmware. We're on 2.52.22. Okay, we'll close that out. Uh, from here, go to the settings, and then where it says ludicrous. Now, we've seen this before, and it's actually hidden in the same place. You hold down the ludicrous button for five seconds, and we will get this familiar warp mode screen that comes up, which is pretty cool. We've seen that before. From here, you get this message that says... Are you sure you want to push the limits? This will cause accelerated wear of the motor, gearbox, and battery. Two choices are no, I want my mommy, and yes, bring it on. So of course, we're gonna choose bring it on, see what happens here. Uh, max battery power is ready, or heating, so maybe we have a couple seconds there. Um, All right, so after you get the car into ludicrous plus mode, and you got max battery power ready, the display on the screen or the dash here changes. You get this purple indicator of your battery temperature from 20 to 50 degrees Celsius. You also get this really cool diag screen here uh, with battery power, kilowatt hour, motor power, front and rear, longitude acceleration, and the car actually changes uh, with and shows the front and rear motors there. So, um, okay, so we got it all set up. We're gonna go out and do some testing. Let's see how it goes. All right, so we got max battery power ready. Um, that's the only time this diagnostic screen on the left will show. Um, you can select it by pressing the scroll, the left steering wheel scroll button down and there's a readouts uh, selection there. So you press that and you get the screen here. Uh, shows max battery power, front and motor power, front and rear peak and, and motor power and longitudinal acceleration. Uh, so it was a little uh, wet earlier. It finally dried up, the sun's out and I'm looking for a dry piece of pavement. We'll give it a zero to 60 and see what this car does. All right, so what this is gonna measure here is the max battery power. So we'll see how much horsepower picked up from the regular Ludacris to the Ludacris Plus. And we'll also uh, do a zero to 60 and pull up a zero to 60 time and see what it does. So I think I got a nice spot right here where we'll stop and give it a try. Here we go. We're gonna enable launch mode and go for it all. Yeah, it feels good. All right, let's see. No spin there. Felt really strong. Max power shows on the screen there, 573. Uh, that's about 20 something pickup, so maybe about 30 horsepower. Zero to 60 on the V-Box shows 2.5, uh, but of course that rounds, so. All right, so I just pulled the V-Box card and looked at the data inside and Tesla Ludacris Plus delivers as described. The zero to 60 time was 2.46 seconds with the Ludacris Plus. Uh, the car felt great. We did that actually on the first try. Unfortunately, it just started raining and uh, testing's probably done for the day. I uh, wanted to get some quarter mile results in to see if it ran the 10.6 and see what the mile an hour pickup on the trap speed was. But uh, we're gonna have to, when it dries up, we'll actually head out to the track. I'm actually gonna dyno the P100D as well and see what the power is. Again, on the power meter that we described before, it looks like the car picked up about 35 horsepower. So that combined with the uh, extra launch uh, gets that zero to 60 time down. Really pleased with the results. Uh, subscribe and we'll keep the videos coming. Thanks for watching. Thank you.